Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Sentinel League 3.18. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys my most unlucky day I've ever had in PoE, where I just, like, volatile RNG, let's go, enjoy the video. Also, I'm going to be going through some build updates. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! That's it, please, 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 what are the odds on this? What? I'm down so bad in the garden on doctors, but I'm up on the apothecary. We won? How many? Five! Okay, we won. We, that's good. At least we didn't lose. Honestly, I like not losing. That's good too. So I can keep it going. Yep. Eight. Because you have won it, beg so would be it. Yep, it. Flip it. This is not even 10 minutes later. <laughs> Told you. So yeah, uh, find the seven mod essence. Uh, so if you don't know, that's a challenge for the essence uh, where you find the seven and then you use the remnant of corruption to turn it into an eight essence and then uh, you you open it in an 80 or higher and uh, you get the challenge. Uh, so I would have had a 25% chance of getting the challenge completed right there. Then boom, crashes, goodbye. And then the second one uh, down eight doctors i'm trying to do the harvest one where you double your do your your doctors so you do four div cards and you get double i don't have to do the doctor but i but i wanted to and then damn dude i'm down an entire headhunter uh in the garden in 10 minutes uh it feels crazy like you have to ask after like how much x per hour well how much negative x per hour yeah i went at a rate of 74 x per 10 minutes and so 446 x per hour uh negative if i was to keep doing those gambles and keep losing and damn that was a crazy 10 minutes to lose that much that quickly holy shit time to talk about build updates so there's they're pretty big um so first thing is you'll notice four carry on golems again no stone golem uh i took out the stone and his extra regen and the taunt uh for the extra damage um i decided without the extra elemancer and the extra golem buff effect and even we we don't even use eminences we use harmonies and you know maybe the 270 regen compared to my 1280 regen isn't that much anymore where when it was 50 percent of my regen it was a lot so what changed uh i was able to get these i upgraded to these rings um so my old rings were pretty good i got them for one and two x this one was one x and the other one was two um so it has the es mana int cold res endurance charge uh and then had the other one with the plus three mana es fire res and in, int and endurance charge so i got the extra cold res through the ami um that was actually really lucky it's really good and then i just decided to get fire on this one to make up for the missing fire it's not as good but it's good enough i guess um and we're soft core so it's fine and then 
uh, with the percent ES and the flat ES, percent ES, per flat ES, percent ES is from this Crusader thing. Um, I'm going to make a whole video about how I crafted this stuff, don't worry. Uh, but it's a, it's the Delve mod for minion damage, it's the Essence suffix uh, for int, and then it has the Crusader uh, ES percent and flat ES, and then I hit, I hit T1 life with an Exalted Orb on stream i'm like i'm gonna close my eyes and slam and i hit t1 life I, i'm not a life build but if we did a life build then that's a pretty cool like if you did a hybrid life es uh this is a disgusting ami i mean a uh, ring so then the 35 minion damage is nice because we gained 70 total like that's a lot of skill points from the tree if you had to think about it like 16 dude that's a lot of damage uh it's huge and so that's the mod from delve we could also do redeemer for 25 minion damage as a prefix but uh that would be a double influence and awaken orb and different and then i don't know how you would get the suffixes it's it's kind of awkward where because like i couldn't get the essence and then this is 35 so it's actually higher damage um and i i kind of prioritize the damage because well we're so tanky and i just want to maximize damage because we continue to keep getting tankier and we could even be tankier and it's so silly so therefore damage uh where i can get it so yeah, i'm trying to maximize damage while still being efficiently tanky obviously but anyway uh so the rings got me tankier by a lot and then also got the extra damage um and then because i didn't have the mana on the rings so these had flat 72 and 71 and a little bit more int because i did attributes instead of here i did defense modifier i could do attribute again um and this is only t2 int but with t1 high uh percent es and t1 flat es and t2 evasion which is also a defense modifier to get increased by the defense modifier thing this is disgusting like instead of having the life having extra mod wow that's pretty good um I got this one for 30x. I didn't make it. This one, I got the suffixes together with uh, with recoms. So I got the essence mod and the delve mod combined together through a recom. That seems pretty simple, right? It's hard to get, obviously, together and on onto an unset ring. You start to add many, many, many steps to this. But then the prefixes, I did the Crusader Exalted Orb, and the, so it's a Crusader influence, and that you could hit it lucky but it's so unlikely it's 500 out of 7500 um so it's really unlikely and instead i did the uh harvest so i went did some harvest got some of these reforge more likely defense so it's going to roll multiple defense mods and then what i had done is uh suffix uh i did a multi mod because it's actually a suffix and then it allows you to craft an extra mod like prefix uh suffixes cannot be changed which is actually a prefix so I spent 4x this yeah I, I'm gonna go into a whole video about this uh, but basically I was able to fill in the suffix so it doesn't get filled in when I do the har harvest and then the suffixes cannot be changed gets removed only so I spend 2x in the harvest craft and I get to roll defense mods and this was kind of like rolling dense fossils but after already having these suffixes so then the end result is disgusting where this one the guy said to me he said, it was easy, bro. Is this really 30x? And he goes, all I did was get uh, the unset ring with Crusader and have the two T1 off of dense rolls. And I slammed it with, uh, with a random Delve mod ring. And I was like, what? Because just the two T1s rolled with dense fossils apparently is 10x. So then he slammed it together with the recomp and he actually hit it all together, which is definitely not even a 50 50 this is crazy um so yeah he got really lucky and so i got lucky and that that feels good man this is this ring's disgusting so i open up i get all this yes i get the uh survivability i realize oh my god uh maybe i don't need the stone golems regen anymore maybe i am too tanky so i took it out and then uh i the extra gem i could run val haste and uh, i have the extra carry on golem and uh then i was even thinking about chaos golem then and uh and then i realized 
with my build, uh, I have 140 golem buff effect, unless I run eminences. So I actually don't have that much golem buff effect, so actually it's only like 6, 7 fizz damage reduction, and giving up that much damage for that is terrible. Just like giving up that much damage for just the regen when I have this much regen was terrible now, for sure. Um, yep. Huge upgrade. Massive. Oh, and then I also realized I could probably spend some of these extra points that I have on my tree now on an extra medium that I couldn't fit before because I've freed up points again that I'm taking the tree and instead of the tree I could take another another medium. Pretty cool. Um, yep. Min-maxing this build is insane, dude. Min-maxing this build's insane. But then I'm also thinking that, uh, I was thinking about my ailment mitigation and uh currently it's the shock um flask and the cannot be frozen boot and then every other ailment gets me technically except like some of them don't do anything to us so it doesn't matter and like we're crit immune through the solaris um but so something i thought about is uh if i had avoid avoid so you get the 67 avoid boot yeah um then you have uh, the implicit or the prefix on the chest plate to avoid elemental ailments and that's your 100% so I give up some ES which maybe I'm okay with to be pure elemental ailment immune so I would free up a prefix on the boot I would free up the mod on the move speed thing so I could get the other move speed once so you get like 42 when you're not hit, being hit recently you could also then get an extra mod on the flask and what could I get on the flask there's so many mods uh, maybe there's a better idea there uh, it's really interesting, though. Really interesting. Um, something I've thought about because of how I'm willing to maybe give up defense because of how tanky I am and then getting more damage and maybe then, like I said, free up uh, how we do stuff and get it even more powerful. It's really cool. And then I've, I, I, side thing, I was thinking about empower in the links to get the extra survivability. Uh, I ended up doing uh what i haven't mentioned i haven't said this in a video i don't think yet but um huge okay so massive basically i switched to you may have noticed i switched to feasting fiends instead of renewal um so we have dread march feasting uh then the the large is actually a rod and vicious feasting instead of renewal uh we have dread march feasting we have uh this one's a renewal feasting still because well, some regen's okay, and it had a void stun on my implicit because I rolled this with harvest. I didn't want it. I need it. Uh, and I dread march feasting. Um, so the reason for all this is uh, I realized that the regen was nice, but the leech had higher uh, potential if we invested in it, and the monsters are actually hitting and dealing damage and leeching, and the, it's for the zombies specifically. Uh, the carrion golems can attack fast enough so they can leech if it's fine. It's actually the zombies and potentially the other ones, uh, which I think the anomalous feeding frenzy helps keep the AG and the specter alive over the zombies, and the fact that the minion damage 25% less life. So... Uh, the leech diff. Uh, let me explain. So, originally, we would run 1% leech, right? And then I, I switched it eventually. I tried before 1 Feasting Fiends with 0.4 leech. That's terrible. 1% um, is better than 0.4 by 2.5 times. Okay. Then I tried 1.2 with 3 Feasting Fiends, right? And I was like, yeah, that's 20% more than the 1%. It's better, for sure. Then I tried three of them with the one percent so it's 2.2 percent and that's double the leech that's a lot their survivability went through the roof i i couldn't comprehend it it was really good then um i took out one of the feasting fiends and it's, it was still pretty good and then i i was still losing some zombies so i was like okay um let's let's go crazy so i i yeah uh feasting 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 and the one percent so this is 3%. I also figured out... <clears throat> so that's 50% more leech than what I had. I also figured out anomalous vitality instead of my divergent vitality. Because I added vitality back to the build and we were using divergent for the damage on full life. But what if you did the leech? So the fizz leech, uh, 0.4 becomes 0.8 in my build because of the aura effect I have. So basically I have 3.8 leech. Uh, <laughs> so from that starting one... 
to now the 3.8, or even you could compare it to the 0.4 on a feasting, we have 10 times that. So the example now is I think my zombies should, the, the worst case scenario is when the monsters take less, less damage, have reduced, they take less damage, like uh, in the uber bosses or in 100 deli. So to beat that for some minion survivability through leech, we needed more leech to make up for them dealing less damage. Um, because it's not just a normal boss, it's the uber or it's the delirium. So this takes the minion survivability and puts it through the roof. Uh, because now they, even in the worst case scenario, they should be leeching the most. I did it under a circumstance of 96% damage reduction, level 100 monsters. Like, it, it's 100 deli, level 100. It's not even a thing in the game. It, and, and then they are still leeching really good. So, against a single target, which is the, the worst case scenario. Because if you have multiple targets, you can get multiple sources of leech and instances and all that stuff. But, uh, yep. So... 3.8% leech was sick with this amount of attack speed, with this amount of damage. Obviously, if I get more damage and more um, attack speed and all that, then you technically can get away with less leech. But uh, this is pointing out that if this wasn't, if I needed this much leech with this much damage, then this much leech in your build will make an even bigger difference. So I would highly, highly recommend Anomalous Vitality if you're not already using it for the extra leech. That first. If you're using Vitality, it probably should be Anomalous Vitality for the leech. The second one would be, yeah, getting some Feasting Fiends. At least using the 1% leech on the tree. Um, and and that you'll notice your minion survivability go through the roof. So huge build update, and this is applicable to everyone, not just the end game build. Like the rings was more end game build specific, but still really cool. Um, but whereas the the leech thing is just massive, massive. Uh, and then I think yeah, the leech can offer more recovery, and we still have some regen through the one percent regen on the tree. We have the consecrated ground on the animate guardian, who's getting five percent regen when he leaves the consecrated ground. We also have our bottled faith, that's giving the five percent regen, um, and then uh, we still have one renewal. Yeah, but the leech, like when they're taking damage, there's usually a monster, and like I'm not really sitting anywhere, letting my stuff just take take damage without a monster being there really anymore and then they're beefy enough to where hopefully they don't just die to some degen with no monster there you know we'll see though we'll have to find out only one way to find out uh either way i hope you guys enjoyed these uh build updates and uh well my biggest loss day in path of x oh what the hell man so insane uh so thank you guys for watching thanks for hanging out if you guys have made it to this part in the video hit that like button let's get 60 five likes on this video in one day uh thank you guys for all the support and if you guys like the video and you made it to this part hey hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next episode